take one man consumed by a driving ambition. Add the red color of hate in the blistering heat of a baseball diamond. That's our story, Come Back, taken from the files of John Steele, adventurer. <laughs> friends. This is John Steele. If you like stories of savage action and hard emotion, pull up your chair because you've come to the right place. Most of our tales are about old friends of mine, but this week's is an exception. I first met Lou Johnson when I was scouting for one of the Major League Baseball clubs, and though his story is a sports story, it's also one of a man. But here he is to tell it himself. Lou, they say once you're through in the big show, you might as well get out and stay out, because it's never the same after that. Well, I didn't feel that way about it. Baseball was my whole life, and I wanted to play the game, even if it meant going down to the Class B League to do it. So after I was released from the majors, I went down to Triple A, then on down the line till I ended up with the Memphis Grays and the Three-State League. But I never stopped hoping that someday I'd get called back upstairs. That's why I could put up with the lousy food and... Well, the night bus rides and all the rest of it. It's baseball. I played it hard all the way. Like the day we were playing the Chattanooga Chiefs. It was early in the season. Everybody on the team had pretty much made up their mind we weren't going any place anyways. Chiefs were in first place by three games, pulling away from the rest of the league. We were last. Skip, our manager, had started a young kid by the name of Snell in my place at third. I'd been warm on the bench all day. It was our half of the ninth. We were one run behind. Coombs, our shortstop, got a single to start things off. Next two men flied out. That brought up the kid, Georgie Snell. Snell! Wait a minute. Boss, Lou's gonna hit for you. Huh? Just keep an eye on me, kid. I'll show you how it's done. Let's get a batter over here. Get going, Lou. Yeah. Just watch the old professional, kid. Hey, I don't get it, Skipper. Come on, you're delaying the game. Johnson for Snell. I know, I know. Step in here and let's get this over with. That's just what I'm planning on doing. Well, if it ain't Mr. Major League himself. Hey, okay, Curly, here's a big man himself. Pappy, let's see that high, high one. Pappy right under his chin. And here it is, here it is. Curly! How you like them apples, big shot? That his fastball? Yeah, that's his... Kind of the stitches on it as it went by. Hey, hear that, Pappy? Says you're not throwing them hard enough. Uh, come on, I got a train to catch. Just giving them their money's worth. Big man's giving them their money's worth, Curly. Come on, let's give them that big floater, baby. Bend in that big one and watch him swing. And it's now, big man, now! Curly! Ah, that's my baby, Pappy. How many stitches on that one, big shot? Tell him not to come over the plate again or he's lost a ball game. Listen to him sing, Curly. Listen to him Every sing. Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Pappy, we're way out in front. Got, got him to waste, baby. Come on now, let's put one right over the button on his cap, Curly. Let's back him out of there. And here it is, here it is! Hey! Down the middle with that one. Yeah, get into that shower now. All right, Skip. Hey, Snell. Yeah? Wait a minute. What do you want? Did you learn anything out there today? Sure. What? I ain't never gonna get used to the clutch if the skipper's gonna take me out when things get hot. You got plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. Don't take it so hard. Them as has it and them as ain't. Well, I know I've got Maybe it. you just ain't a ball player, kid. Get off his back, Lou. He's got to learn to take it. Yeah, are you sure that's the reason? Of course it is. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Did you hear the news? What? The Sox called Charlie Harris back to the majors. When? Yesterday. What do you know about that? Guess he needs some pennant insurance. You sure? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's in tonight's paper. <clears throat> uh, says he's going to be used as a pinch hitter. Old Charlie. Charlie. Uh, should have been out in front by five games by now. Yeah. Maybe Harris will give him the power they need. Maybe. Have to keep an eye on him. Yeah. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Well, let's get in that shower before the hot water's gone. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> After 
we cleaned up, I bought a paper and beat it back to my room at the hotel. Yeah, there it was in headlines on the sport page. Harris recalled to the majors. That was good. At least I knew the Sox needed some help. And if Harris didn't work out, well, I might get back upstairs yet. Like Herman says, I was going to keep an eye on him. I went out to the field for practice next morning, but it's different. Now, going back to the big time was a lot more than just a dream. Play the game harder than ever. Make every play count. Yeah, that was the way to do it. I was walking up to take my turn in the batting cage when the skipper called me aside. Hey, Johnson! Yes, Skip? Come here a minute. Sure. What's up? I, uh, want to talk to you. Shoot. I've been worrying. Oh, forget it, Skip. We ain't always going to be in last place. Ah, oh, it's not that. Well, what then? I don't like to do what I did yesterday. Oh, that's okay, Skip. I don't mind a kid playing in my spot. I don't mean that. Huh? Young Snell's a pretty good ball player. Yeah, he's a kid. That's just it. He needs experience. Well, why don't you send him down? Down to where? We're the bottom. Yeah. He's never going to learn if I don't give him the chance. Well, what are you supposed to do? Throw away ball games so a green kid can get used to the heat? I know, I That's know. your job, ain't it? Winning games? That's part of it. I don't get you. The other part's <laughs> developing good prospects to send up to the majors. Do you think anyone up in the Sox office cares where the Memphis Grays stand in the three-state league? Oh, I don't know. Seems well, to me... Well, I don't. If I can send up one good player every three years, that's what makes some sense upstairs. Well, what's that got to do with me? Just this. I like to win ball games just as much as you do. Yeah? I know that during a game, there isn't always a time to let a kid get his lumps. So? You've got experience. Now, wait a minute. There's a lot you could teach, Snell, if you would. You think I'm going to be nursemaid to a skinny kid? I just meant I got myself you... to think of. Someday, I'm going back to the majors. Are you? Yes, I am. I ain't got the time. Let him learn the way I learned, the hard way. I guess I had you figured wrong. Oh, what are you talking about? I never about? thought Lou Johnson would worry about a kid taking his spot. Oh, you're nuts. Am I? What is it, then? Okay, where is he? Over at the sliding pit. Yeah. Remember, this was your idea. Thanks, Lowe. Yeah, remember. Uh, what do you think I made them slide in that for? Well, you gotta hit that dirt a good ten feet from the bag and then come in roaring. Oh, they got some of the best baseballers in the game today. They spent hours in the pit and then went. Oh, hello, Lou. Hi, Herman. This bunch of kids afraid to get their pants dirty. Yeah, I know. What are you doing over here? Skip's one, better help out. Well, you can have it. I never saw it. What's Snell anything. doing? Oh, he's the only one who shows anything. Hey, kid. What do you want? Let's see a follow away slide. What for? Don't give me a hard time. Skip's orders. Go ahead, kid. Back off further than that. That's better. Now go ahead. Kid's pretty good. Not bad. You call that a fall away? I'd have had the ball in your teeth. Says who? You don't believe me? Try it again. I'll get on the bag. You throw me a ball, Herman. Give a kid a chance. Right. Ready, Herman? Yeah. Come on, Snell. <laughs> Was he out? Four or five feet. Okay, wise guy. What's the matter, kid? You getting hot? Try it again. Sure. Only you don't do a fall away. This time, come in with your spikes flying and break up a double play. Sure. I'll stay on the bag and hold the ball. Now, if I can get out of the way of your spikes and throw to Herman, your slide stinks. Okay? Sure. Hey, wait a minute, Lou. We don't want no one getting hurt. It's all in fun, ain't it, kid? Yeah, all in fun. Go on, Herman. Get back here. Okay. It's your leg. Go on, Snell. Sure. Ready, Herman? Yeah. Come on, kid. Spikes up. <laughs> That's the best you can do. What do you mean? Well, I got the ball to you. Did I get the ball to you, Herman? Sure. Listen, kid. That slide's won more ball games than any other play in the book. Yeah? You got to play it hard. You got to knock the pivot man's pins clean out from under him. Don't worry about the bag. Just get those spikes in his legs. Uh, Here, uh, I'll show you. You stay on the bag and try to get the ball to Herman. Hey, now, wait a stay minute. Stay out there, Herman. Skip's order. Go ahead, big shot. Show me how. Sure. Okay, Herman? Yep. Okay, kid, here I come. <laughs> See what I mean? You dirty... 
Let me see that leg, Snell. Oh, get him if it's the last thing. Get up thing. and lie still. Just a scratch. Get it off. Shut up. Now, where will I get the sock down? Oh, no. Wow. That cut's seven inches long. Somebody get the doc. Bad, huh? It'll be a month before you play again, kid. Dirty rat. You shouldn't have done that, Lou. You shouldn't have done that. Pretty good picture, huh, Herman? Yeah. That movie stuff's all a bunk, though. Suppose so. All that love stuff, that ain't for real. No. Hey, you take that girl. Hey, what's the matter with you? Huh? You've been so quiet. What's the matter with you? No, it's nothing. Want to stop for a beer? No, I feel like it tonight. It's awful hot. I don't care if you want to. What's the matter with you? Snap out of it. Come on, we'll stop for a drink. No, forget I brought it up. Love stuff's the bunk, huh? Yeah, sure it is. Uh, how come you never got hitched, Lou? Huh? Oh, I don't know. Used to have plenty of girls? Yeah, I guess I had my share. Uh, how come you never married one of them? Never had the time, I guess. That's what I thought. Well, you know how it is. Always shoving on to another town. Yeah. Ever in one place long enough to get to know anybody. Didn't you never want to get married? Yeah, I thought about it. Be nice to have a little house. A kid, maybe. I guess I figured that'd come later. Other things more important. Like what? Playing the game. Working my way upstairs. Yeah. Maybe I played it too hard. Huh? What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. I was feeling good till you started talking. I know. What a creep. Sorry. Want to buy paper? Okay. Give me the Chronicle. Thanks. What's the headline? Here's some stuff about Korea. See the sports page. Yeah. Uh, here we are. See the socks. What they do today? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. They lost three two. Now where's the write up? I'm going to be down at the bottom. Uh, was pitching well in the ninth inning. Charlie Harris, who flew in from Indianapolis this morning, was sent in to pinch hit for Robinson. He might just as well have come by train because with two out and the tying and one in runs on base, he struck out to end the game. How about that? Uh, what? Harris was sent in to... I heard you. A couple more like that, and the Sox will be beating the bushes for another pinch hitter. I suppose so. Uh, how long we known each other, Lou? Oh, 15 years, I guess. Let's see, we, we come up with the Sox together in 35. Funny thing. I've never really known you till now. Huh? I guess the guys were right this afternoon. Oh, they're just a bunch of punks. Are they? Well, sure they are. That's a trouble with I don't all... think they are. What do you mean? They wanted to go to Skip and have you thrown off the team. But I stood up for you. Said they didn't know you like I did. Well, why would they... They think you spiked the kid on purpose. Well, those things happen. No, they don't. It was an accident. I thought so this afternoon. Now I know I was wrong. What are you trying to... You spiked that kid today and now you're out laughing and having a good time. You'll be out for a month, maybe more. You didn't even go over to the hospital to see him. It's a tough game. You gotta play it hard all the way. The guys was right. Well, what difference does it make? Skip never would have listened to him. Maybe not. <laughs> so long, Lou. Dumb jerk. Oh. all got together the next day and went to skip. He told them they were crazy. It was just an accident. From then on, I played third regular. What with playing every day, my game sharpened up. My batting average started climbing until I was hitting around 390. Team climbed up in the first division. I knew I was carrying them. Kid's leg got infected and I kept him off the field another two weeks. In late August, he started taking practice with us. And being a kid, he'd come along fast. 
Meantime, I'd been keeping my eye on Charlie Harris up with the socks. From what the paper said, he was having a rough time. He had two hits and 35 trips to the plate. Sports writers were calling him the All-American Out. It was the last week in August. We had a big game with the Chiefs that afternoon. We were just going out for fielding practice when Skip called us all together. All right, now, hold it a minute, hold it. This will interest some of you, but not many. I got word from the office today that a scout from the Sox will be at tomorrow's game. So if you have any big ideas, tomorrow's the day to show them. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay, fellas, that's all. Hey, Skip, uh, Skip. Yeah, Johnson, what do you want? Uh, who's coming down, uh, did they say? What? Uh, the scout, who is it? Oh, oh, fellow by the name of Steele. Uh, John Steele. You know him? Uh-huh, sure, sure, uh, I know him well. Uh, Lo, I've been watching you careful for the last week. Yeah? I notice your hitting's kind of tapered off. I think you're pressing too much. Nah. I know this means a lot to you tomorrow, and I thought... What? Uh, Thought maybe I'd play Snell this afternoon. No, the no. kid's about ready to start, and it'll give you a day of rest. No, Skip. You don't even have to take field and practice today. Might be just what you need to have a big day tomorrow. I don't need no rest. Well, you can suit yourself about practice, but Snell's going to play this afternoon. Uh, Skip. Ah, uh, you don't know what's good for you. I'll show you I don't need no rest. I'll go out there and catch everything in sight. I know you can feel. I'm I'll just show you. To... Come on, Skip. Let's get going. Okay. Go on, Lou. Get out there. You just watch me, Skip. I'll catch everything in sight. What do you expect us to do? Cut the grass while you finish your private conference? Jerk. What's the matter, Big Shot? Trying to get out of practice? Jerk. Heads up. Here comes one. It's yours, kid. Sell, sell, sell. Mine, mine, mine. I got it. Get out of the way, kid. Hug. That was mine all the way. Yeah, why don't you take it then? Hit us another, Skip. Here it comes. Mine, mine, mine. I got it. Mine, mine, mine. Mine. What are you trying to do? Catch everything? That's right. Quit hugging them all, Johnson. Let's have another, Skip. It's yours, kid. Sell, sell, sell. Mine, mine, mine. Look out for the wall, kid. I'll get it. I'll get it. And smack into the wall. Out cold. Jerks. Head first. Out cold. Jerks. The wall. Out cold. Jerks. Head first. Out cold. The wall. Out cold. The wall. Cold. 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 When I come to, I was on a bench in the locker room. The doc was bending over me. I could see Skip looking over his shoulder. Wasn't nobody else around. My head was busting, my whole right side ached. Doc said something about a mild concussion and I'd have to go to the hospital. Then him and Skip left. I knew I wasn't going to get tied up with no hospital, not with a game coming up tomorrow. When I got up on my feet, I was rocky as a lush on a ten-day bender. Got some clothes on, took off out the back door. I don't know where I went or how long I walked. When I got back to the hotel, it was dark. I unlocked the door of my room. Even before I turned on the light, I knew somebody was there. Where you been? What are you doing here? Where you been? Skip's been looking all over for you. I don't know. Been up here five times. Yeah? How you feeling? I'm okay. Sure? Yeah, now get out and leave me alone. Sure, I'll go in a couple of minutes. I, uh... Just want to say I'm sorry about tomorrow. What about tomorrow? Skip says I'll be playing third. Oh, he did, huh? Yeah. We'll see about that. Doc says you can't play. We'll see. I'm sorry it worked out like this. What do you mean? I wanted to beat you fair and square and not this way. <laughs> Besides, I had you all run. Yeah? You can play tough for the other guys, but I know better now. What gives you that idea? I heard you warned me off that wall just before you hit it. Only a right guy do that. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you know, tomorrow will be the first time I ever played for a scout. That's so? I'd sure like to do good. I guess you would. Not a hitter yet, but I will be soon as I get my swing time. You think so? Yeah. You, you know, Lou, I, I've been thinking. There's a way that would make it seem as though you were right up at that plate tomorrow. You know how I take those three little steps before I hit the ball, just like Dixie Walker used to? Well, if you'd help me get my timing right, it'd be just like you was up so there. So that's it. 
Huh? You little worm. Come squirming around here. Tell me what a good guy I am. So I'll give you the tip that'll send you upstairs. You got it all wrong. Well, let me tell you something, smart guy. I knew there was something behind it all along. You're nuts. And I'll tell you something else. I wasn't warning you off that wall this afternoon because I didn't even see the wall. I was trying to scare you off the ball so as I could make the catch. Now, what do you think of that? I was right in the first place. That's the trouble with you little punks. You don't know how to play the game hard. I should have known Now, better. get out of here before I throw you out. Well, I won't until get I... Out. Cut it down, Johnson. Punk. I don't want to hurt you. Cut it out, little punk. Can't hit you, Johnson. You'll a rat won't even fight back. Your head. You gotta play it hard. Now get out of here. Sure, I'll get out. Until I tell you something. <laughs> You're sick, and there ain't no doctor can help you. Shut up. All your life you've been playing ball, playing it so hard you forgot everything else. You don't even know there's anyone else alive, and you know why? Because you're scared to death inside. Scared you ain't good enough. Scared somebody's gonna take your spot away. Scared you ain't gonna make the grade. And now you got something to really be scared about, because you're gonna get left holding the bag. You're gonna get old, and you won't have baseball nor people nor nothing, because nobody's gonna care. Shut up! Well, you're through now, and you ain't got nothing. Nothing! And I feel sorry for you. Get out. After the game, I locked myself in my room and slept. Phone rang six or seven times during the night, but I didn't answer it. At three in the morning, Skip came up and banged on the door. I just laid in bed and listened. Finally, he went away, and I went back to sleep. Guess I was too tired even to dream. When I woke up, it was 10 o'clock in the morning. My head still ached. The whole right side was stiff. I took one of the shades down, rolled it up, and practiced swinging until my hide started to loosen up. I didn't go out to the field till after game time. And I got to the locker room that was empty. Pulled on my uniform, packed some cotton in under my sliding pads to protect that hip. When I got to the dugout, the game had started. Johnson, what are you doing here? I'm on the team, ain't I? You should be in the hospital. I feel great, Skip. Honest. Well, you ain't gonna play, so you might as well go back to the hotel and rest. I'll stick around. Uh, maybe you could use a pinch hitter later on. Suit yourself, but I'm telling you, you ain't gonna play. Sit down. Snell's up, huh? Never get a hit. Ah, shut up. Did Steele show? Yeah, he's right behind the dugout. Good. Another line drive. Yeah, right to the shortstop. If he just straightened one of them out. Sorry, Skip. Just can't seem to get a hold one of these. It's okay, kid. Oh, sure, that's okay. We didn't need the run anyway. Ah, shut up, Lowell. If you'd let me go in and hit... I'll be back in a minute. Where are you going? Stay away from that kid. Don't huh? worry. Let me see that arm, Snell. Beat it. I saw you flinch when you reached for the rail. Shut up. Let me see it. Ah, swollen. How'd that happen? It's nothing. Last night? It's nothing, I tell you. you dumb jerk, you've been out there batting with a sprained wrist. So what? Uh, you're throwing the game away? We've only been playing with eight men. Shut up. What's the idea? You said to play it hard. Well, that's the way I'm playing it. Yeah. Yeah, you are. There wasn't no more scoring when we got to the last half of the ninth. It was still one run behind. First man flied out, next man walked, next man struck out. Two down and a man on base when Snell went walking up to the plate. I don't know, I don't know. We're playing him to pull to the left. Yeah, such a kid. Yeah. He hasn't got it, that's all. What's the use of kidding myself? Skip. How do you feel, Lou? Huh? Your head. How's it feel? Kind of, kind of, kind of rocky. I guess it's been too much for me today. Yeah, afraid of that. Well, let me go out and talk to him, Skip. You think I'm nuts? Nothing to worry about, I promise you. Okay, okay, I'll try anything at this point. Kid, uh, kid, wait a minute. Come on, hurry it up. Uh, time, I'm time. Come here, kid. What do you want? Now, listen to me. I ain't got much time. When do you start taking those three little steps before you hit the ball? Huh? Tell me. Uh... I see the ball coming around from behind his head. Now, listen to me. I used to watch Dixie hit. Wait till the ball leaves his hand. Then go into your dance. 
How do I know you're just okay? Okay, okay. Wait till tomorrow to find out if I'm right if you want to. Come on, Snell. Time's in. Now go on, kid. And and stop pressing. I don't know. I don't know. Don't worry, Skip. Put it over. That picture sure taking his time. Yeah. Get it over. Hit it foul. Yeah, yeah, but to the right. Yeah. Yeah, he did. To the right, yeah. Cut it over. Ball one. He'll hit it. He's got to hit it. Get it over there. Foul again. Two strikes. Yeah, but to the right. Come on, kid. Get a hold of him there. Tell him out there. Huh? Oh, uh, just, just told him to take it easy. Uh, don't play it so hard. Nice going, kid. Thanks, Skip. Now get down to that shower in a hurry. Yeah, right away. Come on, Lou. Huh? Oh, yeah. Nice going, Snell. Huh? Oh, uh... This is John Steele, kid. Oh, thanks, Mr. Steele. <laughs> Don't I know you from somewhere? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm Lou Johnson. Yeah, sure, now I remember. Say, I like the way this kid hits. Nice swing. <laughs> Bad luck today hitting him at people, but he hit everyone smack on the nose. Yeah, he's got a good swing. I'd like to have a talk with you after you clean up, Snell. Well, uh, sure. Thanks, Mr. Steele. See you later. Nice to see you again, Thompson. I guess I was right the second time, huh, Lou? What? What? <laughs> Nothing. Looks like you're on your way, kid. Well, I'll be seeing you again, Lou. Huh? Because I'm going to tell them up there they got a good coach going to waste down here at Memphis. I'll be seeing you again, Lou. Maybe. Maybe. The title, Comeback. The story of a man who learned that sometimes you can step down to go upstairs. And if you like Lou's story, friends, why not come back next week? I'll have a man who was trapped not ten feet from civilization and whose life depended on a single blade of grass. I like to call it Juniper Bush. So until next week, this is John Steele saying, A life of adventure is yours for the asking, wherever you find it. Only, don't look for it. It may find you. Well, goodbye and good hunting. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. <laughs>